And uh, investments made today have impacts over, over many, many years. And that's why we need to have consistent levels of investment in infrastructure for IT and in, in IT and, and digital and data projects. Of course, that's what we didn't see under the six years airbrushed by those opposite of them in government. And, and I thought it would be worthwhile just going back through going back through what we have had to deal with in the IT and digital space from the time when they were in government. So they were rolling along okay because when the GFC hit, they only took $700 million out of IT investment. You've got to pay for those pink bats somehow. $700 million ripped out of IT investment in 2009, 2010. Well, this is the reality. This is the reality, because you did have to pay for the clunkers. You did have to pay for the pink bats. Then we got to 20, no, at that point, they realised the error of their ways. They knew these systems were going to collapse in a few years' time. So they got to 2011, 12, and they ripped another 100 out. They ripped a hundred, another hundred out, but then, but then they'd got through from the Rudd to the Gillard to the Rudd, and they were really out of money. So look what happened in 2012-13. Do you know how much they ripped out of the budget in 2012-13? 1.2 billion of investment, just gone, just gone. And and they expected that the systems, that the IT, that the digital and data strategy was going to work ripping $1.2 billion out of investment in 2012-13. Now the member for banks understands the member for banks understands that if we are to have quality services provided to the people of Australia, if we are to have data projects that are going to deliver on every one of our programs in welfare, in health, in infrastructure, in cities, we need consistent quality investment. And we need that commercial acumen. Yeah. That kind of savvy that the member for banks has and those opposite clearly lack. Now we're doing that through investments like the $1.5 million for the Digital Investment Management Office and the $13 million for building capabilities and skills that are fundamentally important. And, and they are being overseen uh, by the DTA, and I meet with the head of the Digital Transformation Team on a regular basis, as I have since I got into this job, in answer to one of his questions. We are reviewing. We are reviewing every project over $10 million. Some of those projects that those opposite put in motion in their, their time in government haven't been great successes. And it's true. We need to review them. We need to get on top of them, and we need to make them effective. Now, uh, in a, on top of that, there is a real focus in this government on data integration, and the Dipper project uh, is crucial to making sure that we make the most of the, cru the, the, the data we have in health, in welfare, in infrastructure and elsewhere, uh, integrating data sets that allow us to make the right policy decisions, to make sure our services are effective. And that Dipper project is one that I'm personally invested in, believe firmly, can have a very positive impact for Australia and for Australians for many years 